It was a warm summer evening on the Lenso and Trulden line, and the engines were all restless in their sheds. Hey, what's going on here? Well, it's just that we're all tired. Yay, or how about you share another sob story? Why me? Don't you guys have stories of your own to share? Well, there was this one time I... Is this I... a story of the, the dogs that you saw? We reading? don't need to hear that story again. Anyway, I have a story. And so Ron's story began. A long time ago, on a small railway, lived an engine named Isaac. The engine had lived on the railway ever since it was founded back in 1918. The railway ran a small tourist line through the mountains. The little engine continued to work the route for about 25 years. The engine over time would become known and loved. Isaac loved working for the railway, but most of all, he loved the children who would join him on his routes. The children loved to listen to the old engine stories, and would often stay awake past their bedtime to hear them. Isaac would do the best he could to provide comfort and ease for the passengers, but Isaac was old and well past his days of youth. But the railway in nearby towns always did their best to keep him running. However, in 1944, the line had scored big. They found promising land for quarry work. And as time passed, the line had transformed itself from a quaint tourist line to a fully industrialized line. During this time, Isaac was pulled out of the passenger work and pulled into quarry work. But as the line grew, Isaac was soon replaced and placed in the sheds. As time went on, he was moved from shed to shed so that more space could be made available for other engines and cars. And soon, Isaac would be in a small siding all alone. His old driver would visit him as often as he could to keep the old engine company. In 1950, the railway had lost some of its clients to bigger companies and was losing money. Ideas came and went, but none stood out more than having a passenger service again. It worked once, why not again? The small station was still in decent condition, however the line was old and same for the coaches. But the railway had no money for even a down payment or investment. Isaac soon heard the news. And that's the story, old boy. Sir, will there be children and families using the passenger service? Uh, well, of course. Sir, for the sake of the children, I want the railway to use me for the investment. Have the railway sell me for scrap or something. Isaac, you don't have to do that. It's alright. I've lived my life. I'm old and worn. I can't be useful to this railway anymore. Tell them. I'm sure an old engine like me can get a good price. And so, the railway management heard the idea and... Shortly after, Isaac was sold, and the money was used for the passenger service. So, what happened to Isaac? He was sold to the museum for a decent amount of money, too. He is still on display, and sometimes he even sees an old face. The kids he had loved had grown up, and they told their children all about Isaac and passed down a story to them. See, I'm not the only one with stories. Yeah, but yours are sad. That doesn't mean they're bad. And besides, you're the ones who wanted to hear my life story. Be quiet, I want to sleep. And soon enough, the engines all dozed off. Over time, the engines all became more and more open to sharing their stories. But, <laughs> that's another story. See you next time. <laughs>